gonna have my cameraman kneel down and film right across film right across the top of this saddle this is usually about the angle it sits on most horses so what I want you a lot of saddles don't have this but what I want you guys to notice is the ground seat notice it's a smooth even curvature all the way down notice it's really high right here and a smooth downward slope right in here it's flat but only for just about that wide and then it starts to make a nice smooth curve up a lot of saddles they won't have this rise in them right here and uh it it doesn't support the front end of your i guess your pelvis or for lack of a better word your crotch and all of this is just kind of empty space well with having this ground seat that rises it makes it to where this seat conforms to your whole entire body not just your tailbone you look at a lot of saddles and they'll be curved a little bit and then they'll have a little bit of a rise but for the most part they're just flat all the way across there and when i say ground seat what it is is if i was to if i was to un, uh, undo these strings and tear apart this saddle a little and lift this piece of leather and fold it back what you would see is a bunch of pieces of leather that have been stacked and built up and then shaved back down to get this kind of shape that's your ground seat and look at it like this the tree is really important for the fit of the horse the ground seat is really important for the fit of a rider but what makes a saddle really good is having a good tree and having a good ground seat so here's what you guys can do to do these things i've just talked about now they're they're sort of rare but they're probably not so rare that it's too far for you to drive and take your saddle to but a lot of these tax uh, a lot of these tax shops and western stores that sell saddles they have guys that work there that do things like replacing saddle strings and replacing stirrup leathers and things like that you can take your saddle to these guys and they can build up the ground seat and they can also they can also put the twist in these leathers this still here if you have a grinder and you have some and you go to a tractor supply or somewhere like that and get some of these copper rivets then this is pretty easy to do yourself and i'm sure there's other videos on the internet that talks about twisting your stirrup leathers you guys can probably do that yourself the ground seat you probably want to let somebody do that's had some experience because they have to tear apart your saddle and build this up and uh they have to when they shave it back down and shape it it has to be done right so it will conform to your body 